all over Trenton. We all know about storms. There's either a storm coming, you're in the middle of a storm, or you're coming out of a storm. But there's always a storm. And to go with that, you've never seen a storm stay over one single person, one single area. It does not happen. The storm has not come to stay. The storm has come to pass. A little more than a week ago, early on Sunday at the Roebling Wareworks building, a catastrophic shooting occurred at Art All Night. I was actually caught in the middle of that gunfight. It happened all around me. I don't know why I'm still here, honestly. I do know that I will never be the same. It just got crazy, and bullets were flying, people were running. I don't even know why I didn't run. I just ducked down and was trying to turn my camera on. And then next thing I know, <laughs> My lousy week is nothing compared to those who were shot and maimed at Art All Night and on the streets of Trenton days later. People were shot, people were falling all over the place. Um, a lot of bystanders got shot. Um, I'm sure the investigation at some point will show who, who shot who. My lousy week is nothing compared to their family members who have known the ultimate nightmare and pain. For the dead, it is all over. For the survivors, they will live with this for the rest of their lives. For their family members, they will never look at the world with completely trusting and happy eyes ever again. For them, the dead, the wounded, the scarred, I'm so, so sorry. I think about you every day and will for the rest of my life. Because it could have been any one of us because we're all fans of Art on Night, am I right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. I thought so. I, I... I still can't really talk about what occurred. I'm still mourning for the victims, for their families, for all of us. The majority of this city is amazing. It's beautiful, it's diverse, it's loving, it's pure. Yeah, we have some problems, but we also have some amazing people here who are fighting for one accord. Most of you here today are for one reason. You wanna see our city heal and rebuild. Just because we're dealing with a situation where some people are doing things that they should not be doing, that are negative, that are hurting our towns, that are hurting our people, hurting our community. That does not mean that you stop doing what you've been doing to build up the community, yes. Yes. to showcase your talent, to showcase the positivity, to uplift, to uplift the people that have been doing the right thing since day one. Yes. And I'm talking about them all, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, politicians that are doing the right thing, the, the local business owner, that goes out of their way to make sure that the shop is open for you every day, to build up the economics, so that they can stand flat-footed and say that I'm doing something to help out this community. I'm doing something to show our youth that you don't have to go into the gangs. Amen. You don't have to sell drugs. You don't have to live a negative lifestyle. The fast cars, the money, that doesn't have to be you. You don't have to be a statistic. There are options. You can choose education as your motive. Whatever it is that you want to do, you can do it. You can live in your gift. You can live in whatever talent that you have. You don't have to fall victim. You don't have to be the next victim. The people we look at, we don't look past. But rather look into their eyes and say something as simple as, how are you today? And then when you get done listening to them, why not remind them that you love them? Words like that help us heal and move forward. I sincerely believe that tragedy brings you to transformation. I don't know if you've ever heard that before, or ever thought about it in that manner. Amen. I truly believe that at this point in time, right here, right now, what we're dealing with is a transformation period. Without a shadow of a doubt, don't get it mistaken. Don't get caught up on the fact that there's a lot of wrongdoing that's happened. I get that. But that doesn't mean that you stop moving forward. Amen. You've got to start loving each other. Yes, sir. Inside of this city, we're very conditional in how we love people. We love on how they look, who they are. If we know them, man, if they're breathing, put some love in their direction. Amen. 
And how do we find the silver lining in this? How do we find the positivity? How do the clouds open up and the sun shines through? How? You gotta tell me. Art has the capacity to educate, Amen. to incite, to unite, yes, to create change. It also has the ability to comfort, to soothe, to heal. We in the art community and the community at large have a lot of work to do, to heal and to move forward. Let's get to work together. Is what do you do with the experiences that you have after you've been given back to the world? Do you break? Do you fold under the pressure? Do you become a statistic? Or do you take that situation and you use it to become something brand new? Something different that you've never seen before. So much to the point that when you look in the mirror, you don't even recognize yourself anymore. Part of what happened at Art All Night is we're not acknowledging, respecting all the people who live in this city. Mm. There are people going through pain. Yes, there are sir. people struggling with poverty. There's mental health. There's addictions here. There are schools that are failing to teach our children. Yeah. And when all of that unfolds and we as individuals look past it, it will unfold itself where we are. And then what do you do? Let it go. It happened. It's done. Now we build. We build for tomorrow. And then the next day, and the next day, and the next day after that. And you don't <laughs> stop building. You don't stop working. Amen. Until you achieve the goal that we set out for. That is success. That is prosperity. That is a better life. Not just for you, but for the generation that's coming after you. Because if you're only thinking about yourself, then you'll quit. What will happen to Art All Night, to Trenton, the city I love, I don't know. What I do know is we cannot give up on the city, on each other. Amen. We can't and won't give up on events like Art All Night. Amen. Their, ca their capacity to bring together and elevate us. They're going to figure out a way to do it a little bit more safer or whatever, but, you know, next year is going to be a stigma. I think either a whole lot of people is going to come or nobody's going to come. I, I hope a whole lot of people come. Next year, yes. Art All Night yes. will be here. Amen. Next year, Amen. we'll be here to do Amen. our thing. Amen. Next year, we'll be here to support it. I'm already going to start painting pictures so I can present <laughs> my art. All over Trenton, I'm going to let it shine, Whoa. All over Trenton, I'm gonna let it shine. All over Trenton, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen.